Hello and welcome back to another edition of the Michigan Conservative Roundtable. I'm Mac, this is Kim, and today we're going uh, duo today with uh, TJ uh, having to work. So today I want to talk about something that happened last weekend. Uh, a, a gentleman by the name of, and I use that word loosely, uh, Justin Turan Roberts, who's a 39-year-old black man, uh, went out and he was targeting white males in a two two day long shooting spree in which he uh, shot five white males and thankfully no one died everyone was uh, hospitalized but uh, overcame those injuries uh, this happened in Georgia and Alabama uh, the police believe there was no connection whatsoever between uh, the shooter and any of the any of the five victims or the five victims with each other so he apparently was doing this randomly and uh, you kind of wonder why someone would do that. And it was mentioned that he, he may have some level of mental illness, which makes sense. Uh, but you see a constant bashing of white people in this nation today by the mainstream media. Of course, Black Lives Matter has nothing good to say about white people. Uh, but there's, you know, the critical race theory, the implicit bias training. White people are bad. White people are bad. White people are bad. So you get a guy that's on the edge or not quite quite right, and he gets his hands on a firearm, then then you have trouble. And I, th I think that's the core problem here with this situation, is this constant uh, drip, drip, drip of this information that white people are bad. Well, the thing is, is that, you know, the, this country's trying to divide us. Our, yeah. our government is trying to divide us. Democrats are trying to divide us. Right. And they're doing a really good job of it. Um, Black Life Matters, which really is run by the Democrats. Yeah. Um, well, it's a, it's a Democrat money laundering operation, that's for sure. Exactly. The top people are actually older white people. Yeah. You know, but they fail to tell you that, and they fail to tell the people that, that, that that's the case. But they're dividing us, and that's the thing is, is that... And they're making people hate people more so than we've ever seen hate in this country before. Well, it said that the officer said that, <clears throat> that arrested him said he demonstrated uh, that Mr. Roberts demonstrated delusions and a disconnect from reality. Well, if we start uh, arresting people who have a disconnect from reality, we'll all be in jail. <laughs> Half the country will be in jail. Who determines we have a disconnect from reality? Well, I can give you some examples <laughs> of what I think are a disconnect from reality, which would be uh, riding a motorcycle at 65 miles an hour down the main roads where I live, not the main roads, but the country roads, uh, wearing a mask and no helmet. <laughs> that, to me, is a disconnect from reality. That really is a disconnect. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to protect my health by wearing a mask, but not wear a helmet. <laughs> well, of course, this caused some. The, the two cities involved were Columbus, Georgia, and Phoenix, Alabama. And... Of course, this created a panic, you know, that the open season on white people, nothing like that. But how far, how far away from that are we really before we start to see more and more and more of this? You've seen a number of attacks on Asians by uh, black Americans, uh, very often for no apparent reason. I saw a video, and uh, if I can find this video, I'll put it in the, in the links, in the link below in the description box that... Uh, talks about uh, or shows the video of a uh, an old old white man he's got a cane he's old mm -hmm. and this young black guy pretty big guy pretty you know looks like he was pretty strong uh holding his fist up and punching the white guy and knocks him down i don't know what you know it, it, you don't know what any of it's about but but he's got his four or five of his brothers with him and they're going to intimidate this guy and they're going to i don't know take his money or whatever they're doing but uh, you won't see that story on the national on the national news. Well, the thing is, is there are a lot of black on white crime because mm -hmm. of the color of white skin. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the news is not reporting them. If you look at and you look for it on the on Google and stuff, you can find it, and there's a lot of them. Yeah. But it's not being reported. Yeah, a lot more than you would think, and I think it stems from the Maxine Waters hate Trump people. Get uh, all white people are white supremacists. I'm 61 years old. I've never met a white supremacist in my life. I have, however, met several black supremacists. But even at that, 
just several, just a few people. Most black people are not black supremacists. Most people are not extremists. But they would like us to believe that all white people, in fact, uh, uh, my daughter's boyfriend said he was at a uh, bonfire and there was a young white girl there saying that all white people are racist even if they don't know it. I'm sorry. That's just not... I don't buy that. We're racist if we don't know it. Right. And only the white people are. Yeah. Not any other race. Well, uh, I, I, in our earlier discussion, we talked about the, uh, uh, I think it's Raymond Lamont Hill is his name. He says that uh, all white people are uh, sociopaths or psychopaths. Uh, those kind of statements are absurd. And when you got a nutter out there who hears this and, oh, damn it, he's going to do something about this. Then, then we get into the problem we have. Don't you find it interesting, the group that says they're the least hateful people? The least, they, they want to include all, you know, yeah. inclusion are probably the most they're the, the controlling least and less tolerant. Yes. They have, they're, they're the, the least tolerant, the most exclusive, and the biggest haters that walk the earth. And they're usually white liberals. Yeah behind that. And you know, Black Lives Matters in their major meetings do not allow white people into their meetings. Right. What is that? Well, we see recently Joe Biden says he's going to give help, but only to farmers of color. Of course, the Supreme Court said, uh, or federal judge said, no, that's not going to fly. And uh, so that got shot down at this point. We'll see if they pursue it to the Supreme Court. You know, it's different to throw a flyer out there and see if it, if it, it you know, throw it up the flagpole and see if anybody salutes it versus taking it to the Supreme Court to enforce your racist policies. And those are Democrats doing that, folks. Yeah, so to me, it's the Democratic Party that is the cause of the hate in this country. Yes. Period. Absolutely. Not that we don't have our people, but we do. But uh, most of the hate comes from them. Anything else, Kim? Nope, that's okay, it. Okay, that's going to wrap this one up. So, uh, Kim and Ma Matt, uh, coming at you. <laughs> And uh, signing off, as Terry likes to say, as TJ likes to say. Um, so with that, be safe, watch your six, and don't tread on, on me. me. <laughs> I'm going to have to edit that.